The Hong Kong Immigration Department website is good for a few things, but not very good at all where it counts. Namely, indicating to you your chances of success in getting your Hong Kong residency approved. You see, immigration policy in Hong Kong is governed by highly confidential guidelines which the general public, or indeed even professional practitioners like me, don't have access to. And these guiding principles are dynamic and shift to suit the, the contingencies and needs inherent in Hong Kong's economic circumstances at any moment in time. So it's a moving feast, and unless you're dealing with immigration applications day in and day out, it's almost impossible to glean what the current approach the Immigration Department is taking to any uh, to approving certain visa types such as investment and employment visa applications. In this regard, the Immigration Department website is designed to do just three things. Firstly, it sets out the policy mantra, or what I've couched as the approvability test, for each type of visa application, describing the consideration criteria. Secondly, it provides a general list of documents that you need to be prepared to pursue your application, but it doesn't explain what they're looking for in these documents, and in this respect, they are inviting you, as it were, to sort of lift up your skirt and show them everything. And then finally, the website tells you how to go about initiating your application and sets up your expectations of, potentially, a four-week case consideration timeline to outcome notification. The Immigration Department website is informative but not especially helpful. You see, the role of the department is one of poacher and gamekeeper. Their job is to inform and decide and not to advise. So, consequently, the Immigration Department website should not be taken as the definitive guide to application approvability. The hundreds of people who each month search for case refusal application denial and the visa appeal on our visa handbook and visa visa website is testament to this fact. The Immigration Department website only tells you two thirds of the story 